So, last episode, we actually got a new item from the shop with a total with using 150 rubies. And our next destination should be to go to the Icy Alps. That's what we're gonna do. Oh yeah, that's right. Can we finally get through a section of the game without asking for help? Let's hope let's hope for the best. For right now, I'm just gonna go to my mission objective, which I should know where to go. I should go to the snowy outs. Make sure you get some eggs too, so that way you can get some HP. Get some scarabs. Alright, I want you to stay. I want you to stay here, so I can go up here. And then, of course, switch this up. There's also another thing we can also do, I'm pretty sure, if we can be able to get up there, but I'm sure we can get up there now, because, um, we have a ton of new abilities in our pocket. I'm pretty sure we can do more in this room, actually. There's a switch up there, too. There's a switch up there, too. And I'm assuming Bethel will let us have access to that. That'll open that up. It allows me to get two more fuel cells. Nice. I'm gonna try to look around for more of these fire switches, and they can be in places I could easily miss them. Okay. I can kill these enemies now. Get over your fire keys. And I get some, like, magic back. Now let's get magic back. Okay, so... I don't think there's anything over here, but let's see. Pushing A is a no-no. There's also something beyond there, but we gotta somehow open it. I mean, now that we're, now that we're here, we should be able to do a little bit more. Let's took some fall damage. something underneath here. I don't remember if I've been there or not. Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. But there's a Bahamut here. Good to get extra lives, but I think I'm also full on lives. Yeah, I'm full on lives. So let's see here. I think we gotta wait for a platform to pass by, right? I would think so. Oh, 
Okay, well, at least I can climb up anyway, so that's good. So let's look around. Very same object that I have in my pocket. Yeah. Looking around, making sure I'm not missing anything. Then we gotta go up. Why did the camera rotate for a second? That's weird. The camera rotate for a second. Oh, it's good to grab scarabs because, like, who knows what they're gonna be used for. Although I already bought in all the important items from the shop, pretty much good to hold on to some, just in case. Maybe I give it to this guy. Here you go. Here you go. Okay, so I guess I gotta play the horn. Okay, so now we have a little challenge. Okay. Put that to the Y button. Okay, go to the campfire. Campfire would be... I think over here, right? Yeah, over here. Unless there's multiple campfires. Well, where is it? It's not these two campfires. Which one was it? I failed the challenge, by the way, because I was misdirected. I failed the challenge because I was misdirected. Also, I realize I'm a complete fucking idiot. I found this. Alright, where's the flame? Where's flame? Where is flame? Use flame. Alright, well, let me... Let me use it again really quickly. Hopefully that'll fix it. Okay, that definitely fixes it. I have to go behind him. How did I miss that? I don't know. I just did. So I'm a complete idiot. I just gotta follow those paths. Look, now I'm being, like, multi-hitted somewhere. Is 
still have no idea where I'm going. Because I don't think I can make this. No, I still can't make this. Still don't know where I'm going, because game's vague. The game's so vague. From here, where do I go? Shoot this tree? My thoughts exactly. Yes, you shoot the tree. I'm near said location, but where is it? I feel like I passed it. It's definitely in this area. Oh, there! Found it! Found it! Found it! Then I go somewhere else. Okay. I think I go that way. I'm not sure. There it is. I'll fight the enemies later. I just go to where that guard is. I know where he is. Move out of the way, Macedon. Black Ranger. Okay, the rest should be easy, because I know where these locations are. I bet I gotta shoot another tree, because, like, now that I know what to do within, like, the earlier part, I know what to do with other trees later on. In fact, I'm gonna have to, because, like, well, it's probably where you want me to go. Okay, well, oh, pfft. I was holding forward, I guess, and that's why it happened, I'm not sure. Gotta shoot this tree. Shoot the tree. Go up here, climb up. 25 seconds. Took me a little bit to figure it out, but once I finally figured it out, it's all smooth sailing. Also, I saw a symbol. And we did it. Oh, it's a Krizora Palace, definitely. And we did it. Wait, let me open that box. Okay, you're back. Yeah. Uh, what happened? Was it the time? Was it the timer pressuring you? Then again, I'm playing the game. You are not playing the game, so I feel like it would be less pressuring for watching someone else deal with some pressure. I don't know. I mean, when I'm watching celebrities play wants to be a millionaire, at least I'm not worried about them like losing a million dollars because at least they're taking the safe approach because it's not their money. It's the charity's money. Oh shoot, dang it. Alright, well, now we gotta go this way. Because now another thing should be open to us. Let's go to that open area where there's a ton of enemies at. Maybe now more is opened. So you go over here. So this is probably a Krazor shrine. This is definitely a Krazor shrine.
can't wait to see what challenge we got us today. Considering that I have failed the fur challenge a few times, I'm expecting this to get harder. Oh, of course, we have one of these worst enemies I have to worry about. I know these guys are not going to do any favors when we have this toxic. No, it's definitely not toxic. Though, one thing is for, and I gotta deal with both these enemies, otherwise we're just gonna be a pain. I really hate the bird enemies so much. Let me deal with them really quickly before I, uh, do this. Oh, it's slippery! It's slippery ice, okay. It's slippery ice. This could be fun. I was not even moving the analog stick. I'm still so... Okay, is my control acting weird again? I hope not. I have to, I have to hurry this up. Okay, got it. Got it, okay. Let's hope, let's, let's hope that I don't have to, like... Let's hope that I don't lose the challenge and have to redo it. You are not telling me I gotta bring it again. Oh my god. This game is insane. So it means, like, I could, like, have the potential of doing all of this again. Oh my god, I can't even control that. You got to be fucking kidding me. And you know what, I'm not even looking forward to the challenge because, like, what if I fail? What if I fail? If I fail, then I have to do all this again. And I'm not looking forward to do all this again because I already know it's going to be flat out garbage. What if I fail? If I fail, I have to do all of this again. Sure, at this point I would probably be more used to it. But still, I'd rather, like, get it done in one go. So let's think about it. There's a potential pattern. Unless there's a way I can stop these. You can't freeze it in place. It's gonna go automatically no matter if you like it or not. You can't freeze it in place. It's gonna move uh, whether you like it or not. How do you freeze that in place? You don't. I'm not looking forward to the rest of this, especially when we're... Pr I'm probably gonna need it, too. I feel like this is completely broken. Oh, and there's more? Fuck this shit, dude. And this guy's probably gonna respawn, too. I have to throw it over there. And I am not looking forward to this challenge. I'm 100% telling you this right now. Especially when I might have to actually redo everything if I have to. Also, I realize... The switch is what switches the fiery flame. That's what I gotta do. Okay, I think I figured out how this works. I think I figured out how this works. Okay, I figured it out. I figured it out. I got it. 
So it turns out the switch actually is what rotates the fiery thing. It's not based on time, it's based on when you hit the switch. Oh my god, what if this doesn't work? Okay. Did the enemy respond? Doesn't look like it. Oh shit, it did! Fuck over! No, you are not gonna ruin it. I was about to say, is the enemy gonna respawn? Oh, yes, he is. And also, right when I have a bomb in my hands, I do not want to redo that. Okay, wait. Okay, nice. Right there for Krizoa Spirit. Let's not screw this up. I do not want to do this again. Test four. Test of strength. Oh no, it's gonna be requiring me doing this button mashing game, isn't it? Use your strength against the sharp claw. Succeed, it will become yours. Oh, I'm guessing it's one of those button mashing type of things. Okay, here we go! That was easy. That was easy. Thank goodness that was not that difficult. All I gotta do is just mash that A button. And it's mine. You did, you collected the fourth Krizoa Spirit. It will remain in your body until you take it to the Krizora Palace. We must just be released. Alright. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. So now let's go and go to Krayzoa the Palace one more time. Are you ready to go to Krayzoa Palace? Yes. Yes, sir, Rockbiter. Alright, so now we're gonna have to enter an area that... That... We're gonna have to enter an area... That pretty much has, like, a new thing for us to use. Let's see, what new abilities we got? We got the, uh, Super Quake, and we also got the Open Portal. 
Hopefully utilizing one of these will help. I'm gonna set the open portal though. I'm gonna circle around each floor until I find it. Oh, there it is. Found it. Oh, you have to just press A? Okay, I just press A. But I have to select it manually, but that's fine. I'm going back. 